Hello and welcome to the Lewis and Clark State Historic Site. My name is Ben and I work here as a site interpreter. Today I want to continue our item spotlight series. And we're going to do that with this item right here. It's uh, cast out of metal. Uh, the original would have been made from iron. And along the front it says U.S. Captain M. Lewis. This is the branding iron that Meriwether Lewis brought with him on the journey. Now we don't really know a lot about its origins. We know that Lewis is using it in his journals and it's rediscovered years later so we know that this is an artifact from the expedition. What we don't know is where it was made. It may have been picked up in Philadelphia or Captain Lewis may have had it made uh, in Harper's Ferry or maybe even at Pittsburgh as he's waiting for the keelboat to be produced. This would be used to mark the many crates and barrels and leather goods that the expedition is carrying with them. Because it has this open space in the middle at the bottom, this not only brands the items that it's stamped with as government property and belonging to Meriwether Lewis's unit, it also leaves space for you to write what is inside that package. Now Lewis is buying goods in Philadelphia, he's picking up things in Harper's Ferry, and they're getting even more stuff when they get down to St. Louis. And so they have a lot of things to organize. And this is going to be really useful at making things obvious on the outside what they are. Now to use this, you would get it really hot, stamp it into the wood, and pull it up and it would leave that image. That means it would have had a long handle at the end for handling. We of course don't have that with this piece. Now this is a logistics tool. It's a way of marking things that are yours probably to help uh, against theft a little bit, and uh, to really help organize. If you think about it, some of this stuff is going to be pretty securely packed in barrels and crates already, and so you don't always want to have to open them up. This is a good way to mark them. Uh, so this is an organizational tool. It is not for uh, horse branding. When we think of branding now, we also often think of people branding horses or their cattle. That is not what this is for. It's far too big. This would just really hurt a horse unnecessarily. On top of that, we have notes from Captain Lewis and others in their journals saying that they used a stirrup brand instead. So a much smaller, uh, a little more detailed brand that would not hurt the horses that they bought from the Shoshone. So this is not a horse brand, it is a materials brand. And it will be used on trees as Lewis and Clark and the others are making their way west. It's a brand that they use to mark around their encampments, and it is also uh, what they use to mark around where they've made some caches. So when they are preparing to cross the Rockies, they have to abandon their Piros, they actually cache them and use their brand uh, to mark trees around the area so that when they come back they'll have an easier time to find their boats. Compared to the other items in our item spotlight series, this is probably not the make or break item of the expedition. It's one little pound of metal used for essentially note keeping on containers. Probably not as important as making sure you have gunpowder and lead on the expedition or being able to signal your soldiers like some of our other videos. But it is important because this is a demonstration of Meriwether Lewis's foresight. This is his way of staying organized, keeping all the pieces and components he's bringing from all over together in one place. If you want to talk about how well prepared the expedition is, you can point to this. Lewis had a brand specifically made to mark their equipment and to help label it. So while this is not necessarily the, the make or break item, it is an item that shows how much preparation was going into this journey. This is only one of our videos in the Item Spotlight series. We have others on other items on YouTube and Facebook. You can also check out other videos that we have as well. Of course, you can always find out more about us at CampDubois.com. I want to thank you for watching and check in later for more videos. Thanks.